Hello, this is Lisa Shea, and I run WineIntro.com and LisaShea.com, and today we're going to talk about how to open a wine bottle using a traditional lever type of corkscrew. So you can see the corkscrew here. It's got the corkscrew part in the middle that you manually turn into the wine, into the cork, and then you've got these livery things which you then use to lift the cork out. So the lever part is only used once you've got the cork screw firmly down into the wine bottle. In addition, someone on Twitter said that they like opening the foil capsule by dragging the pointy end of the cork screw around to take it off. I prefer just to rip up the foil with my thumbnails because that's super quick and easy. And I've also got a foil cutter that you just drop on top and spin it and that's also super easy. But we're going to try this whole claw the thing around in a circle technique. And I want to caveat that this is a really hard device to hold in that sense, to hold the point steady. So this may not be the easiest type of using the tip of the cork screw to dig out the foil technique, but to please the Twitter person, we're going to give this a shot. So it certainly does make a line that you're carving around, and if you're using a different kind of corkscrew that was easier to hold, this would probably be much easier. My boyfriend likes to do something similar to this, but use a knife. As you might imagine, holding a knife is a lot easier than holding this moving, twisting thing. But we did get in a circle, and it did claw it away, but now I'm going to have to use my thumb to claw this apart. At which point I say to myself I would have just rather started clawing from the base of it where I had a nice good grip. But if you like this whole using the corkscrew to claw in a circle technique, you can certainly enjoy that. Alright, see so I mean it does give you a starting point. Most of that does come off. So there. Now we've got the foil at the top and we're down to a cork. And it is a cheap plastic cork, so this is one of the more challenging types to get through. But we're going to do it. Alright, so winged corkscrew. Part of what happens is as you're going down into the cork, the wings come up. So that they're up when you're ready to pull it out. Because of that, you can't hold it like that when you're using it because you're preventing the wings from coming up and therefore the worm isn't going to go all, this is called a worm, won't go all the way down into the cork. So you have to hold it by its middle and keep the wings free. So you won't be able to see the worm going down into it because of that. But let's get it set. Poke the worm down into it. And you can see I'm just holding it at the collar part, not the wing part. And as you start screwing it, you can see those wings are rising as it gets deeper. Come on. And this will be harder with plastic corks than it is with authentic corks. But eventually you get down into the depths. And now where this lever thing just shines... Oh, hold on. Let me try to get around both sides of the camera without hurting the camera. And it just lifts up. Alright, so the screwing in the part is fairly straightforward because you've got this whole thing to guide you and to help you have something to put pressure on. And then the pulling, pulling out of the cork is pretty easy because you've got this metal structure and then you're just pushing down against the metal structure. So in general, using these things is pretty straightforward. And then you just screw the cork back off of the worm. On the downside, if this worm gets dull, this is all one piece in here. So you just have to toss out the whole unit, which is a shame. If you have the rabbit style ones, when the worm gets dull, you just pop off the worm, put in a new one. But other than that, this is a pretty sturdy unit. It's made of metal. It's going to hold up to abuse. And being able to have that leverage to push down in it is so much easier than one of the travel corkscrews where you just have to try to yank with your hand and there's nothing else really, you know, you can hold on the bottle with one hand, which is often slippery, and then you're trying to yank, so that can be tricky. So compared to that, this is definitely an improvement. So I would say if you only have the little travel corkscrew kind, 
I would get one of these as a step up. But even if you have one of these, I would advise giving a rabbit a try because the rabbit is just so much nicer and it's a permanent thing. You just replace the worms with this thing. It's a temporary thing. So ask with any questions about using the lever style, wing style corkscrew. I've got plenty of other corkscrews in the house that I can show you how they work. So put in the questions and comments what kinds of things you'd like me to show you how they work and what else you're up to. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.